Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lift Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Today, we're in the dreaded sewer dungeon. Yeah. And it's made even worse because we only have one party member with us, and we have to protect Ina the entire time that we're in here. Yeah, so the whole thing is like an escort quest. It's just a pain in the ass. And then, whenever you go and you, like, you know, fight these monsters and everything, it's not like you even really get the experience in gold, because, you know, she's level 10, and once we're done with this door, we're gonna be out of here, and she's not gonna, like, you know, gain anything from it, so, yeah. I'm still gonna go through here and get all the various treasures and, you know, things like that, though, because, hey, why not? Might as well. Okay, we've plenty of new monsters here, and I know will actually help us out in combat a little bit. Oh, can I hit them both with this? Ooh, hey, I can. Nice! Okay, yeah, that makes it a little bit faster. But honestly, like, you can't control her, so sometimes she'll just run over there by an enemy and then get smacked up, but honestly, it's not that hard um, to protect her, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Wow, I'm really flying through these monsters, so that's pretty damn nice. Ooh, ooh, um, sure, why not? Okay, great, sweet. Okay, uh, let's see, keep on going through here, and now what I want to do is, whoa, yeah, get to get another fight. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but sure, that'll work for me. Uh, let's see, we use another Sylvan Whip. Yeah, since, you know, they're right together, why not? Oh, wow, this little slime thing survived that? Ooh, well, that's no good. Bam! Whack him upside the head with your purse. Yikes! Oh, well, that's no good if it self-destructs and everything, and then, you know, harms her, because if she dies, it's game over. Ugh, such a pain. But again, it's not hard, and, you know, you could always um, use an item in combat with Shara in order to heal up Ina if, um, if you really need to. <laughs> Let's chest bump. <laughs> That's a different one. I don't think I've ever chest bumped anybody, like, in my life. Like, ever, ever, ever. But, eh, anyway. Uh, let's see, go on through here. We're about halfway done with the sewer! Thankfully, it's not too hard or anything. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. I want to go down this way. And, uh, just follow this path. It's more treasure! Ooh! Um... Is the treasure chest alive? Is it like a mimic chest or something? I'm not exactly yanking at the insides. At least I would like to imagine that I'm not. I mean, nobody wants to think about that kind of stuff. That's disgusting. Oh! It took me a hot second there, but I was like, yeah, I actually kind of do like chests. Um, not breasts, but chests. That'll work. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, I was going the wrong way. Sorry about it. Yeah, I can get kind of mixed up a little bit here. But, uh, let's see. Go on through this way. Down these... Get down the stairs. There we go. And over here, get a little scene. Oh. Do you have any ideas what we could do? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, hey. Yeah, that previous, like, pathway down that I skipped was just to here. It was a dead end. Uh, but now we're gonna have to go ahead and, uh, use that path next. Oh, yeah. You know, Shara did have a rough childhood. She alluded to that back in second chapter, whenever she was, like, I don't know, abducted into the circus or whatever. Kind of like Jean in Lunar 2. Oh. Well, what do you mean? Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's horrible. So, this must have been a little flashback to your childhood. Yeah. Hey, it's not picking pockets. It's a treasure hunter. Come on. If Locke told taught me anything, it was that. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess, you know, if you stole something as a small girl, you're a pretty easy target for, um, you know, another guy to just kind of go and steal from as well. Oh, so you've done this before. Oh, wow. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, just so, you know, they don't actually notice anything, maybe get a security guard or, you know, something like that. Huh. Well, that's pretty handy. Oh, well then, you know, maybe you can move to a nicer side of town after that? Oh. Or you could get stolen, beaten up, and robbed, coughing up blood. Holy shit! Oh, wow. Oh! God! That's horrible! You still had those awful hoop earrings way back then, Shara? Seriously? <laughs> Oh. I thought you lived in Grand Cell. You're talking about going through the sewer and, you know, getting to a nicer part of town through the sewer and, you know, robbing these towns. I'm assuming that that's Grand Cell, because, you know, you know your way through this sewer and you've kind of alluded to it, but I guess it's been cleaned up since then. Or it's some other town somewhere else, but I kind of don't think so. Oh. Yeah, as respectable as someone who's kidnapped into this troop could possibly be. Oh. Wow, you know, Shara, you're a human being. You're worth more than that. Don't tell yourself that you're garbage. That's awful. Oh. Yeah, anything that you could do to be strong in order to, you know, fight and live another day. Well, just repress it. Store it all the way into a bottle until it never blows up or anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Repression and bottling it up. Yeah, my mother taught me well. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. I mean, you're doing good things. Oh, Luciola. Yeah, haven't heard from her in a while. Yeah, we're just thinking about the time whenever I was, like, beaten up, bloodied, left for dead as a small child. I mean, what could possibly make me, you know, not be happy about that? Oh, okay. Well, Kurt's strong. Maybe you could go train with him, go to the gym or something. I go every day. You could go, too. In fact, right after I'm done recording, I'm going to head on over there. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you finish this job, you can, you know, move on with life. You can become a really good bracer. You can, you know, make some more money, move into a nicer place. Sounds good. Uh, let's see, over here, what do I want to do? I think that there's a treasure this way, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, there is. Nice! Oh. But... I steal it! Well, no. I, uh, I treasure hunt! I treasure hunt, that's exactly what I do. It's not stealing. I would never steal. Okay, let's see what we got over here. If I could, like, ever get there. Man, okay, nothing over there. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, there we are. And? <laughs> Sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Yeah. Okay, so we got all the stuff in here. Um, honestly, you really don't need to go and get all this treasure, um, if you're on my difficulty level, because it's just healing items, like, it's just kind of there for the harder difficulty levels, if you catch my drift, because Shara doesn't have a lot of versatility right now, and she has to keep herself, as well as Ina, alive. Oh. Well, just use your wire. Oh. <laughs> my bad! I don't know if they said my bad way on back in uh, Liberal. That seems like a new thing to me. Whenever I was teaching school, I was yelling at some kid for doing something. I don't remember what he did, but it was like, was just being a little bastard. And he goes, my bad. And I'm like, I've never heard that term before. I didn't, like, I didn't realize that it was kind of like, 
the new way to apologize for saying my bad. And I was like, yeah, it is your bad. And like, I still kept on like going off on him. And then it wasn't until later that I realized, oh, that's his kind of way of apologizing to you by saying, yeah, you know, I get it. I did wrong. It's my bad. Um, but I just never heard that before. Yeah, I'm old. Sorry. <laughs> I just turned 35, actually. Like, seriously, just turned 35. So, yeah. Oh. Well, she's pretty physically fit. Well, she's young. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, you want to be stronger, too. Maybe she wants to be stronger as well. She's been running for her life for quite some time now. Oh. Okay, but how can we get the guild from here? Yeah. But, I mean, like, she has people literally chasing after her. People who want her dead. So, we should do something to help her. Oh. Whoa! What's that? Who's there? Oh, the little news. Oh, it's Niall! Hey! Although... They don't know who Niall is right now, and Niall doesn't know who they are right now. Leticia? Who is that, like, his editor or his boss or something? I'm going to guess right now. I think that right now he's just kind of like a lowly reporter. He's kind of on the bottom of the food chain. And now that we see Niall here, that really, really makes me think that that girl that we saw last time, the little freckled girl by the ice cream stand, was Dorothy. She just... Hasn't been hired yet, you know, she's still a teenager or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, he couldn't possibly be one of the bad guys. He's not wearing a black suit. He's not the exact same sprite. You know, just copied. Oh, okay. How do you know this house? Well, she has lived here her entire life. I guess she would know if there was an empty house around here, I assume. Maybe you should go somewhere where there's people, like maybe that cafe. Like, they wouldn't bother you if there's all these other people inside the cafe. You know, they wouldn't pull guns on you and try to kill you in a public space. Oh, yeah. There are the triplets. Oh. You know, I love this how all the bad guys have the exact same coat, the exact same hair, everything. Like, could you at least give them, like, a different hairstyle? You know, make them look not exactly the same. <laughs> it's almost like the designers are like, you know, the players are so dumb, they're not going to know who the bad guys are unless they look exactly the same. Same hair color, same hairstyle, same height, same body type, same weight, same clothes. Like, I get the same clothes because they're in uniform, but literally the same hair and everything. I mean, come on. Whatever. Well, the girls might as well rest. It's nighttime. They're seriously still standing at the door? Go upstairs and rest. Lay down. They're not going to find a way to escape. Just stay there. Besides, Ina said that she needed another 24 hours last time. So hopefully by the morning she'll be able to, uh, you know, do whatever it is that she needs to do. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Oh, okay. Do you have a plan? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what her real reason is to kind of delay it. Yeah, and then, you know, Kurt can join us, and then we could just go rushing through these guys and just kick their asses. Although, Shara do, does have that new S-break, so just get them all into a battle together, We'll use the S-Break, and bam, done, the end. Be easy. You know, we could take him at two shots anyway. Really? Well, I guess if they break through the front door, then you could just jump out the window. Oh, but do you have another plan, Shara? Yeah. I don't think so either. Okay. I love how Ina's the voice of reason. Even though, you know, she's not the bracer and everything, but she's, like, totally the voice of reason here. Yeah, no kidding. Every single time that I took her around the tour and tried to go someplace else, she was like, no, 
that's not where you go. You need to go to the east block, and to get to the east block, you go up the main street, and you take a right at the bracer guild, then you go up left down this alleyway. It was like, seriously, she knew exactly how to get there. It was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so what is your deal? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what is your real goal? Well, you were saying something about an inheritance last time. Oh, that is true. Maybe you're trying to actually steal this money? Oh, maybe. Are you a horrible, horrible person, Ina? Like, come on, spill the beans. What's your deal? Oh, okay. Why do you want to go there? Do you know the queen or something? Yeah, and you also said that your family has some powerful connections. Oh. Oh. Got you. Okay, so you need to go to the castle and fill out some paperwork, then you can do your inheritance thing. So they're trying to make sure that you can't actually get to the castle and do your inheritance paperwork. Well, I believe her. Why would she lie? Oh. I got you. Well, you do have kind of a shady past, Shara, but... I don't think that you'd steal from her. I mean, you're a bracer. You've turned your life around now. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. So, I guess it's understandable that you don't really trust everyone at face value. Oh, well, that's no good. Oh, holy shit! So they literally tried to kill you! From like day one. That's crazy. Oh man, yeah, for your own safety. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, you know, you need to show up somewhere and make sure that people know hey, I'm still here, I'm alive, and give me my money. Bitch, better have my money. <laughs> Something tells me that your relatives wouldn't share the wealth. You know, they would probably just end up, you know, fighting each other then until there was, you know, last man standing, and then they would have all the money as well, because your relatives seem like pretty horrible, horrible human beings. Oh. I guess you had to earn that trust. That's somewhat understandable. I mean, sure, it was a stranger. That's true, you know, you could have just made the request be, Take me to the castle! The end! And then if there were all these guards here, you know, she could have said, Well, since Kurt's really strong, can I have him escort me there instead of you? I mean, that could have worked. Oh. Murderous eyes of rage? Oh, actually, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Oh. Wow, that's horrible to know that all your relatives want you dead just because of money. Like, that's insane. Well, what is it? Oh, yeah, running scared your whole life. Oh. Well, it's not a waste of time. Like, okay, I kind of think that Kurt somehow already knew all this. Because, I mean, like, why else would he give Shara the letter of recommendation to make her a full-time bracer if it literally was just a quest to go around and, you know, get a tour and go shopping? Like, Kurt knows something here. But he's not exactly spilling the beans. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, you do kind of have an attitude problem, I've got to say. Okay. Well, at least we made it safely through the night, and I don't see any more of these guys uh, patrolling around the town, so that's pretty good. You know, you would think that now in the light of day they'd be out patrolling even more, but I don't know. 
Okay. Noon? Seriously? Holy crap! Yeah, no kidding! Oh my god! And you wanted to delay this? Why were you keep on like saying, let's rest, let's rest, let's rest, let's rest, if you know that you had till noon today? What if you guys overslept? It's not like even an alarm clock or anything. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Okay. Oh, you guys do have a plan. But unfortunately, the player does not exactly know what their plan is. Oh, yeah, totally, completely. Shara's great. I like Sherazard. She's a really good character, and I love her personality, too. I know that I kind of, um, give her a hard time, but then again, I give a lot of characters a hard time. Except for Oliver. I love Oliver. He's so cute. <laughs> and Mueller. And Joshua. Well, most of the guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll totally take you there. But can we make it there safely? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.